Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Lacey. If you're new here, if you're not, then welcome back. What y'all doing? We are ripping up the carpet in here today and putting down flooring that we actually found in the shed. We ended up finding enough flooring to actually redo the floor in our bedroom because um, the carpet in here is so bad. We call it schoolhouse carpet. So if you've ever seen that kind of carpet, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it just, it, it's the cheapest kind of carpet you could ever have. It, the carpet was so bad here recently within the past month or so that I couldn't even um, vacuum it because it was shredding. So like pieces were coming up and I would be vacuuming and like a shred of it would start coming up and it would be unraveling from one end of a wall to the next one and I'd be panicking trying to hurry up and, and turn the vacuum cleaner off and I'm just watching it just unravel clean across the the bedroom and stuff so once i realized that we were not even going to be able to start vacuuming it i was like this is nasty this joker got to go that's what we're doing today y'all don't mind the paint job in here i know it's rough uh, back whenever i first started my channel i painted this bedroom and i couldn't move the bed so i painted around the bed and it's just a joke hopefully this week i can actually paint the bedroom um, before this video goes up and I can put that in here but if not then that'll be coming soon so ignore the walls we'll be getting to Stopping it. Stopping progress. <laughs> so y'all can see just how bad this carpet was that is disgusting those stains have probably been there longer than we've been alive the only way to cope with it was just to pretend like they were ours you can see where the carpet was shredding and how it would get caught up in the vacuum cleaner and everything it would just be just about near to set us all afire no matter how many times i carpet cleaned it no matter what i used the stains would come back through there was nothing that could be done it was time to go and the amount of dirt that managed to go on through the carpet through the padding and down onto the plywood just blows my mind and how it hardens up when you carpet clean it and turn it into mud i mean that's that's just nasty So we actually got this flooring for free from my husband's stepdaddy and the first type of flooring that Bubba is putting down is a bamboo flooring and it kind of just like snaps together I guess you could say and we thought we were going to have enough because this room really is not that big at all it's just kind of a funky shape so we ended up having just enough to do the square part of the room but the area that you walk into the room, it's almost like the room has its own little foyer type thing. Isn't that what it's called? Or is it a foyer? Um, I reckon you would say if you, you fancy. I don't know. I think it's just called a foyer. But anyways, that little area, we had to put um, a different kind of flooring that we had. And we also got that for free too. It looks pretty much the exact same. But both of the flooring types just kind of pop in together. The only difference really is that um, the sizes are different. The first set that we are using are skinnier and the second set that we use are wider that's the only difference
Y'all, we didn't wear matching outfits on purpose. Uh, it was way too late in the video before we realized that we completely matched. Um, and, oh well, whatever. But anyways, we're almost done with this whole entire section right here. We've just got to clean this little area up and then start on the foyer. I'm just going to keep calling that because that's fun um, to say. But anyways, we've got to do that little section there. And then we'll start moving all of the stuff back. And then... Um, I am going to be painting and stuff too in this video, so y'all don't leave. It's a whole entire makeover. So this is the section where we're going to have to put down a different kind of flooring um so you can kind of see it's just a little small spot so it's not that big of a deal and either way i really don't care because as you can tell it literally is better than the carpet oh y'all my hot pockets done i don't know if y'all can hear the microwave beeping but um yeah i'm gonna go get that real quick hold on To a couple problems first of all there are two different um floors in there so bubba is gonna have to put like a piece of strip in or something whatever he called it to cover up the divide in the two pieces of the floor but you really can't tell i guess that is two different kinds of flooring and um honestly i don't care it's better than nasty carpet because you saw how bad it was so anyways we've got new floors 
that's all that matters but now we have got to paint the walls this is just taking too long and i'm ready to go ahead and get it up because i can't even like clean the whole entire house until i get this done why am i talking so much i don't know girl but anyway so i was working on some vehicles today so um it's just me and justin are here and gonna go ahead and do this and do as fast as we can I really would like to get this done before Bubba gets home. Blech, wow. I really would like to get this done before Bubba gets home so that we can kind of put everything back and, um, you know, just get it done. I've been planning to do this for multiple days, but most of the days I would be ready to start it too late and it just wasn't going to work out. So today's the day. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go. Got to spackle first. All right. So this is what the floor is looking like right now. So y'all can see where the two different floors are. I mean, it's not super noticeable, and it stops at the walkway. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. So, what we need to do is put, like, a little, what's the floor divider thing right there? And one, like, right here. And that's what we're going to do there. And that kind of separates this, like, little entryway into the bedroom from the actual bedroom itself. So... That's going to be for another day. That's something I'm not doing today because the room is like a funky shape. Um, excuse the mess. I've got to take everything out of here. But the room is a funky shape. We have this like big wall right here. And then the room opens up. So Okay, so this is what I'm about to take care of right now. So there are parts of the wall that is basically doing this. This is the problem that we've run into. And I'm guessing it is from old moisture. It's not wet anymore um and so the wall is kind of crumbling at the bottom just like kind of right here in this little section so i do want to remind you that this is a 1984 single wide and basically what has happened is over time basically the sheetrock is just old i'm guessing and along the edge especially on this side of the trailer um the sheetrock's kind of crumbled where the floor meets the wall so I'm going to try to spackle as much as I can right there, and it's not crumbling up any further than that spot right there, and it's actually not crumbled up in any other spot but that spot right there, you know, any further, if that makes sense. So, that's really the only spot up that I need to go, um, and then just along the bottom. So, we are actually going to put some something down along the base of the floor that's going to be like a baseboard. But I'm not going to use traditional baseboard, but that is going to have to be at another time. But I'm just going to do kind of the best I can at the bottom there and paint it. Um, so it might not look 100% complete for this video, but y'all stay tuned for what we are going to do because it's going to kind of be like a little bit of a DIY. DIY. It's going to kind of be like a little bit of a DIY. Um, and I'm excited to share it with y'all because it's something that I think is really awesome. And Bubba and I are excited about it. But yeah, so I'm just going to kind of go ahead and do that part and then we will move on to painting. Um, this is the little spackling paint kit thing I got. Um, this is from Walmart. We went to like Home Depot and all that good stuff. They had the same thing there, but this is like really all I could find unless I wanted to like become a professional, um, wall repair patch kitter because they had like these big old buckets and everything. And I mean, I just really didn't need all that. I'll show y'all. But anyways, this was like maybe 10 bucks, which to me is a little bit high, but whatever. This is what I got. I'm gonna see what I can do. Dap! That's what it says. The... Sometimes I like to be left alone. Um, I was just an appointment reminder. Nobody's yeah. bothering me. Um, so you got me at a bad angle. Like, I mean, I see my belly roll, belly roll, belly got me up a jelly roll. <laughs> just a pro tip. Um, if you got a gut, take that picture from way up here. I'm telling you, you will lose like 47 pounds. I mean, don't be doing all that. <laughs> and like, really like, no, but like me and my mom, like really, she will take a picture from like up here of me. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I mean, I will lose a hundred pounds so quick. But um, anyways, this is, says DAP, Wall Repair Patch Kit featuring Drodex. Says it'll be done in like 25 minutes. Okay, what do I do there first? Well, I'm doing this like spackling thing. Justin's gonna be taking everything off the walls for me. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Here too, so when we move this thing, we just pull it off. Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, we'll just pull it forward. I like these a lot. Mama got me those. I, I, you know that big one I have at your side? Yeah. Yeah, I want more of those. And then Daddy's gonna be painting the ceiling, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, that's good. But they're, yeah, he's gonna paint the whole ceilings throughout the whole trailer. But anyway, so yeah, everything's kind of coming along. 
not really because we haven't done anything yet but we're getting it first off i just want to say that this is not the preferred method of fixing a situation like this i don't think it's probably um a method at all of fixing a situation like this but it is the method that i decided that i was going to do because it was the only method that i could do um yeah so uh second off i don't recommend using this uh drydex kit to fix any kind of patch whatsoever that you need to fix in your wall um just because the patch itself is i don't think it no i don't like it it's too thick um and it's going to be really hard to sand down it's not going to be flush with the wall you know as you're doing it it's not going to work um yeah so i don't recommend it the spackling stuff itself the pink part that's good you know it does its job but the patch part itself is it's a no-go so yeah All right, it's finally time to paint. I'm using Temporal Spirit by Benjamin Moore. It's the same color that I painted my living room a couple months ago. And in my bedroom, there's different lighting, of course, and less natural lighting. And you can see more yellow tones to this paint than in the living room. In the living room, it definitely looks more white than it does in the bedroom. But I really do like the way it looks in my bedroom. Um, it has like a sandy looking color to it. And I'm really pleased with how it turned out. And especially the way it looks with my decor. And by the way, I did have to do two coats in the bedroom. Um, because the blue was obviously darker. Even though it didn't call for any primer to go underneath it. Um, I did have to do two coats because I could see some of the blue um, underneath the first coat. So I did have to do two coats. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> go putting on the greatest show so make sure that you don't miss out just be there oh just be there we're taking our shot bring what you got we're going all the way to the top we will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage we're playing loud surfing the crowd everybody's jumping around yeah that's the place where i want
All right, now I've got one heck of a mess to clean up. I did not bore y'all with watching the paint dry and all that good stuff, but I have got a mess to clean up. Oh my goodness. For one that hurt for two there's change and glass everywhere i had this little change thing from the dollar tree and it fell on my foot and exploded everywhere glass and all went everywhere and change so that took forever to clean up but this is what it's looking like the next morning everything is dried I hurried up and cleaned all that stuff up and threw all the covers and everything back on the bed and, and we went to sleep and now I'm going to go ahead and decorate the room, put all my decor up. I did actually make my own curtains and the reason why I did that is because the idea that I was going for, everything that I saw that could be bought was so expensive. I'm talking ridiculously expensive and it was kind of this like lace burlap style. I guess anything that you could think of, the idea would be farmhouse, but that's really not what I was going for. But when you have the word burlap in it, it's automatically going to be labeled as farmhouse and anything with the word farmhouse in it, when you search it online or see it in stores, you might as well go ahead and tack about $50 onto it automatically. So I ended up having to make my own curtains. I already had these burlap curtains. I've had them for a while and they just never went with my wood panel and walls and I couldn't really decide where I wanted them and what I wanted to do with them. Um, so I ended up combining the lace and the burlap together to make kind of what I wanted anyways um so i did kind of film that too but i didn't want to include that in this part of the video because it was so long um so i am actually going to um put that video up next week and so if you do want to see how i made those two sets of curtains then you know look out for that next week so i will show you all that but yeah so i did make those but anyways there's that <laughs> I'm pouring sweat and that just fell and now I'm getting aggravated. So everything's kind of starting to come along. I am getting everything situated, cleaning up and putting everything back where it goes. And I ended up turning my vanity sideways there and I had to scoot the bed on over because there wasn't much room for uh, me in the chair between the vanity and the bed. Um, and my tag is hanging out my shorts and that just about drove me crazy watching this back while I'm doing the voiceover, but um, ignore that. Anyways, I went ahead and put my little um, caddy thing for my makeup brushes and, you know, my hair stuff on the side of the vanity because it was not going to go into the wall. You know, trailer walls, them jokers are very, very fragile, I reckon, um, and it just kept falling out. So, I ended up putting it on the vanity and it worked out well there one of my friends sent me that and i love it so much but anyways um i was going to put that little and thing there we that was a wedding present for me and bubba but it ended up blending in with the wall so i took it down i'm going to try to find a place for it um but it is literally the same color as the wall so it didn't fit there so when it comes to our home thankfully bubba and i both have the same you know likes and interests and you know what we want it to look like and everything so this was a pretty easy you know transition Pretty much everything in our home has come from family, whether it be like an heirloom passed down, things like that, or it has come from an auction. Um, we love antiques. We love auctions and stuff like that. And my mother-in-law has a thrift store where she pretty much just specializes in antiques. And I went and grabbed the pillows from the living room. They were not on the couch. They were never on the couch, so there was no point in them being there anymore. And I thought they matched really well with the burlap um like i said 
anything that is burlap is going to be automatically categorized as farmhouse. Those pillows literally say farmhouse on them. But that really wasn't the idea that we were going for. It's more like a folky type of antique style, I guess you could say, because that is that's going to be much easier for us to you know stick with that's what we enjoy and that's what we like we can build on that and we've always had that style so we really enjoy it and we we love it it's um very comfortable in there now and it's really really pretty but we really hope y'all enjoyed this video and here is an overview of the room and what it looks like now and i really just hope y'all enjoyed it i worked really hard me and bubba both did and we're really pleased with it I'm very, very, very pleased with it. So, anyways, I hope I see y'all in the next one. Toodaloo!